Hello and welcome back to RimWorlds, my friends, and the Rebel Base. We are continuing today with our really quite the, like burgeoning colony, let's say. Uh, we're trying to recruit Patty. We've got to uh, to name Sasquatch, and we have our double layer thick granite walls surrounding our base set up. Most, for the most part, at least, it needs some work around the edge, and we need to work on these defenses. But we need more granite blocks for that to happen. And we need people to actually get in the mood and start smelting things and creating things. Uh, but yeah, you know, all in due course, all in due course. Uh, for now, let's let's go to Sasquatch. And I've been uh, I've been told a little birdie has whispered in my ear that this is in fact one of our longest standing members joining us in the oh not in the Imperial Colony but in the Rebel base is Jahim. Welcome Jahim to the colony. Excellent. Well, do you think there'll be something special? Okay, right. Let's uh, let's move on. We actually do have some art as well that Callum Fodder made. This is a granite small sculpture, superior beat for cipher duck. Okay, let's leave it. This work depicts an empty shoe flying through the air. The, the image is bordered by uncountable ponies. The work has a daidiest feeling and a rectangular structure. Perfect. Mwah. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Um, let's see. Let, let's just put that fucking there. I don't even know. That's ridiculous. <laughs> I love, like... Uh, Tyne Tyne and Sylvester, the guy who made this game, has had so much fun with just, like, coming up with all these ridiculous things for pieces of art. How many more we got to do? One small, one large, and the small is built by Cannon Fodder, the large is being made by Sasquatch. What do you like? Uh, sorry, not Sasquatch, it's Jaheem now. What do you like, Jaheem, in terms of artistic? Nine? Not bad. I mean, you're nothing compared to Cannon Fodder, so I'd rather you actually didn't make the huge one. You feel free to make another small one, that's fine. But I don't want you making the huge one, because that's going to be a lot of resources. I just kind of will be wasted if it's... Oh, fucking shit. Uh, to be honest. Okay, good. Everyone's moving around. We've got a couple of minor break risks. Oh, actually, only one now. Cannon fodder. Disturbed sleep times two. Yeah, this is... This was your bed. I'm pretty sure this or this will be your bed. Or were you sleeping in here? You're sleeping in here. We're going to uninstall this for now. So cannon fodder uses this good bed here. Muffler revenge. Didn't last long. Good work, Jessica. And we need to get... Have we got any blocks left? We've got... 110 marble blocks. Ooh, marble's quite decent. Um, I don't generally want to waste marble blocks. I like marble being used for artistic sculptures because it's just so good. Limestone. We've got lots of limestone. Let's make it another limestone area. Uh, let's have a look. More floors. Again, we do like the mosaic paving on limestone. I'm going to do that for there. And let's have some random paving around the outside in limestone and where's the final one i actually made us go for we've got any slate we'll have a bit of slate there just as a contrast but the rest of it can be that uh limestone where is it paving random paving and we'll see how that looks it may look horrible we may have to change it but for now that's what it's going to be like okay Minor break risk on Ace. What's wrong with you, Ace? Feeling terrible. Like, there's no... I think people are starting to get a few minor break risks just because there's no major positive in their life. Unlike any Sam, for example, who has a husband and what recently has still had the buff for being married. Um, God, look how good any Sam is. But for now... Uh, and there's no really... No, we need a party. That's what we need. We need a party. Jackie, minor break risk. Okay. Got tons of beer, 74. Uh, six smoke fleas. How much? We have six joints. Yeah, we do need this crop to get produced. We're doing okay for food. Okay. We're doing okay for wood, potentially. 56. Once this, this is uh, harvested, I think we might change it for some more food or some beer. Sounds like a good plan. Um... I'm going to put another one of these here, I think. It takes up a lot of components. That's actually a good point. I remember, of course, from before that we don't, we don't have that many components. So we are going towards the component bench. Where are you? Component assembly. We need the multi-analyzer. Ah, yes, I remember now. We have no gold. It may be behoove us just to kind of... 
dig lines through just to see if we encounter any decent uh, mineral deposits. Because there are going to be some hidden in these areas. And in fact, I do want, uh, as a suggestion from NGPUK, I do actually want to have a graveyard set up, a proper grave tomb, because he's right, I did kind of just chuck down more and more infrastructure next to these honoured graves, or these honoured like, uh, sarcophaguses, uh, which actually could be better by now. They, some of these are poor, and we have some great constructors. So I'm going to hollow this as a part of this uh, mountain out and put a new tomb in. It will also help us search for minerals. Is that going to be too big? Uh, maybe too big. It might collapse on itself. For now, we'll just do that. Okay. Go team. Obviously, there could be minerals in these patches, but for now, I'm okay with just hitting the, 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 large, the largest parts with a cross-section like that. We also need to get this silver in, just because extra money is just very good. There's more silver up there. I believe we had some other special ores around. If I seem to remember correctly. We may have already mined them out, though. Yeah, it seems like we just got lots of steel. Which is something we do need, though. So, I was focusing on getting the slag and turning it into steel. But, of course, we have a great miner into Jira who could actually just get the steel from the mountains. Okay, we're building up our supply of granite blocks, which is fantastic. Jackie's burning through these uh, steel slag chunks. We still only have 11 steel there, though. Mm. Okay, I'm just gonna start building the... Um, the walls out. Can we please chop the wood which... In fact, let's just cut plants. Uh, no, cut plants is not going to be good enough. We'll chop the wood of any major tree outside our nice zones. Because they'll chop those when they when they come to the right ripe age. Um, as they are in one of our grow zones. But everything else will just kind of grow and grow and sit there. Actually, we don't even really need that much wood. It's useful to have a supply, but we don't need that much of it. 133 already. Not too bad. What we do need actually is one of these installing in here. Ooh, she's go good going. Ooh, compact machinery, fantastic. More components, brilliant. Uh, can we get another limestone room built over here? It's not 100% necessary just yet, but I don't want to uh, need it and not have it. What else we got? We got lots of... Oh, the granite. Good, 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 good. We are getting tons of granite in then. We can actually start mining this out and finishing off our defences over here. Okay. How are you, Patty? Well, you've actually got... My rival the nose died. Oh! He died? When? Oh. I thought we released him. Okay, fine. The nose died. He must have wandered off and got attacked by a wolf or something. But Patty should be very recruitable. I'm surprised we actually haven't recruited her yet. Um, okay. Yeah, that food is going down. Even with us hunting, that food's still dropping. I'm actually going to change this now, I think. If we could just chop these down. Uh, none of them are harvestable yet. How long is it going to take you to grow? Oh, that was a bit close. Grows very fast, but yields little usable wood. How long is it going to take you to grow? 14 days. Where did those cargo pods come in? Wow, that was close to hitting our base. Ah, tons of smoked leaf. So when this lot is harvested, we could all change this back to food, maybe. Okay, that's good. Fantastic, we've got tons of uh, compacted machinery in there. I could remove these, I was thinking about removing these uh, wooden walls and doors because it's just outside to outside now, there's no inside in here. However, uh, when, as I was thinking about it, if somehow a Manhunter pack does make it through our walls, I do want there to only be one entrance for them. If they come, if Manhunter Hunter Pack comes in here, there is no way they can get inside. 
Uh, well, that sucks. Yeah, all these limestone chunks are going to take up the space, which I want really for granite, but we'll deal with it for now. Oh, brilliant! That was quick. Can we get that done as well, Simrex? We have some damn good miners. Okay. We don't need to haul these other limestone chunks now. Um, I'd rather sandstone than limestone as well, so I will haul those in. Okay. Carlo, are you a miner? You are a miner. Please, thank you. And if you don't mind. Right, so they now have a second way in. We do need to wall this off properly. Um, for now, I'm just going to do that. I think what I want to do is have a granite door here. Or do I want a granite auto door? Door opening speed, 45%. What is the door opening speed of a wooden auto door? 120%. Wow, okay, that's a lot slower. What's the difference for a wooden door and a granite door normally? 120% for a wooden door and a granite door is... Oh, it is actually the same kind of speed. Now, we'll just go for a normal granite door. I'm going to have that there. And we need at least this amount to be... in the form of sandbags and then we'll have a couple of sandbags here if you have no cover for the, an enemy they will just charge straight at you no matter what weapon they're wielding and one thing I don't want this defense to become is easily overrun by large volumes of enemies I want them to choose to hide behind a couple of sandbags but they're gonna have a really shitty cover considering the amount of angles and firepower will pour at them but they will take those stations up Okay, good work. Okay. Right. Hmm. Do need to be careful this doesn't fall down on us. Um, how big do I want this tomb to become? Potentially big enough so it's just kind of open-ended. There's no real way, like door in. It could just be um, a large open tomb <laughs> with plenty of space for new additions. But I actually also kind of like the idea of it being a bit more churchy. Oh, we've actually got no limestone. Definitely want to make this out of limestone for now. So for now, I'm not going to build anything there. I know I'm fo focusing more on the granite blocks, but I, but they just would suit to be limestone. Okay, still need this room building. Ah, oh, we're not run out of limestone blocks. Fair enough. Okay, thirty-one smoke leaf joints, plenty. What are we like for social drugs? Everyone just uses a smoke leaf whenever they want. I'm actually going to make a new policy, which is uh, just call it new social. Um, everyone's allowed beer whenever the hell they like, because beer I feel is is almost harmless. However, for smoke leaf, you can have it every day, but only if your mood's below like. 30%. I don't particularly want you just to take it for no reason. And if your joy is below uh, 50%. Because it slows people down, it makes them more hungry. That could be why we're going through our food so quickly, because people are just getting the munchies, essentially. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll leave it like that and see what happens. Our people should be happy enough. Wow, we have a... We have so many frag grenades. Where the hell do we get all these frag grenades from? Because they were never there to be sold on the main screen, unless there's just large... There was only, cause there's always only like two varieties. There was the 74% and then 100%. And unless I just didn't notice how many 100% frag grenades I had. Which I guess could be the case. Hmm, okay. Combat to steel. Okay, so we've got some steel in there. Thank you, Shizuko. I kind of want to get this room open as well because this is actually limestone, so yeah. Uh, 
deconstruct those. Minor break risk on Shuzgo, probably because you're inside and not very happy about it being inside. You need that bionic body part as well. In darkness, eight without table, feeling bad, cramped environment, very ugly environment. Don't worry, my friend, you'll be out there soon enough. Ooh, and then an eclipse, okay. Area revealed. Can we please deconstruct more of it? And remove the floors. Boop. Okay, good, good, good. This guy's just a mining machine. He's not going to be very happy about it, but he's still a mining machine. I'm actually going to start just deconstructing a large proportion of the... Oh, okay. Yeah, we've got free food. Nice. Can you please come to Animal Area 1? We're going to hunt the rest of your friends, and then we're going to slaughter you. No offence, Mr. Elk, but you are meals on wheels. Sure, we've got some more compacted machinery. This is awesome. Jesus, you really are not fucking happy, Shizgo. And his mood should just, like, pick up so much now. And back to the mines. <laughs> Get to the mines with you. It'll be fine. Soon he'll go to sleep and be a happy bunny. Mad animal. A local rat has gone mad. <sighs> really? You can have your chocolate in a second, Carlo. I said in a second, Carlo. Just go and kill this rat, please. Thank you. Uh, in fact, just... Jessica's hunting it. Good. Okay. Wait, what are you doing? Just... What? No. Hunt the... Fucking hunt the rat. Christ's sake. Okay. Got that one. We've got the... Oh, we'll hunt you as well. We've got the floors up here. Uh, the, the wall up there done. That should mean that we can finish. Hey, we have finished room. Good stuff. And we've got... Wow, shit, we've got fucking tons of limestone blocks now. Awesome. I actually do like that. That looks pretty damn nifty. Floors. I think the best floor is always going to be the hex paving. So I'm just going to go for more hex paving. Um, this is a bit of an odd one. But... I guess we can hide, kind of have the limestone like that. That's hex. And then what are the blocks we have? We've got some sandstone. Like that, I think. That the probably look good, I think. Not really sure about that one. Oh, fantastic. The medicine. Ooh. That's good. Who built this? We did have enough for a plasteel hopscotch bed, which is good. But I'm worried that Inisan's not the one building them. Because he's the one that should be building them. We still need to have to mine those steel bits up there. Poison ship! Ah, oh, grand. And it's in another place which is hard to get to and set defences up at. Okay, because we I can get people there to shoot, but getting grenades closer is not easy. And grenades really are necessary at this point. With the amount of aliens that are going to come out, or uh, machines that are going to come out of that thing, we're going to need some EMP grenades. Hmm. Or, we just sniper it to death and don't bother with the defences. That's definitely an option. Which I'm probably going to go for, actually. Who's our best shooters? Goldie's a 14. Um, Jessica's a 13. Okay, it's Goldie and Jessica. You you guys are going to be the ones. You're going to you're going to do it for us. Oops. Bring on a heater. How are we doing for components? Ooh, zero components? No, here they are. 22. That's pretty good. Okay. Can we 
me take you, please, and install you there. Okay. Eclipse has ended. Good stuff. Our power supplies should roar back into life now. Yeah, we've got a little ton connected. Okay, brilliant. And we're going to start setting up the limestone structure now. Please smooth the rest of those floors. Man, it's going to look so cool. Holy crap, we've hit the mother load of steel though. Good God. I'd rather you work on this one if you don't mind. I want to see if there's anything down this last little bit. I don't think there is, but it'll be good to have a way out of there as well. Okay, people are mostly awake now. Um, so where are you, Goldie? Please go and get yourself the good sniper rifle. And Jessica, please go get yourself the, the superior. Ooh. Okay, actually, Goldie, please get the superior because you are a better sniper. And Jessica, get the good. That's, those are good weapons. Goldie, where are you? There we go. We do want a couple of bits set up, actually. We will, we'll have some limestone... Uh, not limestone. We'll have some sandstone walls set up a fair... Saying that, we've got plenty of trees to give us cover. I don't think we need to. I will put a couple further back where the trees thin out, just in case we need to fall back a bit further. Uh, and actually, let's just we'll just have them going forwards. We can deal with that. And we'll give them sandbags either side to keep them safe. I don't think we're ever going to need that back one, but we'll definitely need the, at least these first three. Nice work. Good, good job, team. It's all going very well, very swimmingly. Hmm. Just making these into the the heat of settings because I might as well keep them in the right place. There we go. New lovers. Simrex and Jessica have come together and are now lovers. This is what, like, Simrex's fourth woman in this colony. Man. Well, he is the big boss. He gets to do what he likes. Well done, Jessica and Simrex. You you guys. Are you going straight to bed? Holy fuck. Wow. Do, do you want to become lovers? Yes. Do you want to fuck right now? Yes. Okay, let's go. <laughs> that does free up another bed for us, which is really good. Which is this one here. You did choose a good bed over the superior. I'm not really sure what your sort of room of one that's putting up. Ah, fine. You just chose the closest bed. I can understand. It's fine. <laughs> Plenty of wood. We're not going to need to chop down anymore for a while. I may actually just take these grow zones away so we don't just chop down wood and fill our um, our base with unnecessary materials. Yeah, I think I am going to. Having food. Plenty of food. Good, good, good. Can you can you not eat that, Xavier? That's a good point, actually. Zones, expand level, animal area one. You see, they can just go and get that instead of the kibble. Okay, that's irritating. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to delete that and that. And hopefully, that will be enough space for our meals. Because I want them eating the kibble. There's no point in having the kibble if they're not going to eat it. How are you guys doing? This is almost... Okay. I'm fairly happy for us to harvest this. And then we can change that into... We've got plenty of medicine. I think we go for cost... Or saying that... We've got so much leather, it's unbelievable. We don't need cotton. Oh, we'll just go for some corn. Visitors. A few items to trade. Brilliant. We'll get to that when we can. We need these sandbags setting up people. I'm going to forbid these for now. Where are the visitors? Here they come. Okay. Okay. 
Jackie, what are you doing? You should be crafting. Making Kevlar helmet. Oh, you, you literally are crafting, so that's fine. Um, I'm actually going to suspend this one and this one. I'd rather you did something else. And cannon fodder. Please go and talk to Mortis. Good name, Mortis. Hello, hello, thank you. Yes, brilliant. Right, we can sell our chocolate. We can sell our simple meals. We want their components, always. We want their medicine. Okay, these things we can sell. Don't particularly want to get... Ah, uh, there we go. Five... Okay, so let's get rid of these two frag grenades. And we'll never need more than three frag grenades, I don't think. Two MP we'll definitely keep. Cloth shirt definitely going. Okay, we'll just get rid of all this stuff. Um, most of it's fine, actually. Wow, we're, we're doing well. And they have nothing really we want apart from the um, the components. So we'll take that. Thank you. Can we please build this... Uh, I mean, the poison ship's not really going to do much, so much harm back there. It's, it's going to be very, very hard for it to affect our farm up here. But we did want to get rid of it as soon as we can. So if we can build these sandbags, that would just be great. Jackie's making a t-shirt. Ugh, I love your enthusiasm, Jackie, but... Oh, maybe I could just <laughs> adjust her settings. That'd probably be easier. Um, put those down for three for a second. And she is making a smoke leaf joint. Man, you are choosing everything to do apart from what I want you to. <laughs> so frustrating. I'm not going to bully them into it, though. Especially as, any, as, as we are actually getting the steel. I think that's Sajira doing the mining. Oh, and Jessica. No, Jessica's... What are you doing? Smoothing the floor. In fact, whilst you're out there, Jessica, can you please deconstruct that? I think that's a safe room. Yeah, can you deconstruct that as well? Hauling steel, can you... No, just... Simrex! Curse you, Simrex! <laughs> I wanted Jessica to do it. Fine, remove the floor then, Jessica. Ah, oh, whatever. Do what you want. <laughs> Stupid AI. Okay, we've pretty much got it done. Let's get Goldie and Jessica. And why are you not building it? Come down here, please. Jessica, can you please finish this? Good. Okay. Right, I think you can shoot it from here. I think that you've got good enough range. Yes, you've got plenty of range. Wow, okay, I built those a little bit too far forward. And probably for a bad reason. Ooh, that was so close. Wow, that's just a lot of scythers, isn't it? Okay, let's see how far back we need to go. Okay. Okay, I was wrong. We don't we we didn't need any of these. Mm, we may in fact have Hang on, how much damage has it taken? Only four. Okay. Can you guys please run? Just run. We need to build uh, our defences further back. They should now... Now that we've kind of left the area, they should uh, be going back to the... ship. Because they hover around the ship until there's something to attack. And then they'll... Uh, come back out. So they should go back in near it. Yeah, kinda. Okay, I was. Oh, Goldie, Goldie, Goldie. Oh, you scared the crap out of me. What are you doing, man? Let's work on these ones. Okay, and you go rest. We'll do with them in the morning. It's, there's no there's no bad point to have them in the milling around. They're not going to leave the place until the ship goes past 50 anyway. So we'll deal with them next time. Ooh. <laughs> it wasn't half scary though. Any san? Any san? I'm watching you. Don't kill yourself for no reason. Good. Yes, go make love to Tajira. Uh. And, uh, okay. Fantastic. We'll deal with that poison ship next time. Thank you. Oh, okay. Thank God. It's just fucking asthma. Just go, you scare the crap out of me there. 
Is it health on there? Yeah, he's just going to get that. Okay. We'll deal with that next time. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you then. Bye!